What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Prime Moment Barese, a fantastic centre-back. Whenever I've used his Prime, even though he's not the most paciest centre-back in the world, you pair him with someone like VVD and he just, he just tackles. Honestly, that 97 defending as a base looks incredible. He's got decent physicals already, dribbling-wise, good reactions, very good composure. Agility and balance actually not being too bad at an 80 and an 81. I wouldn't really say that's terrible. He is a 94 rated player, so we've always got to take that into account that he is, what, 1.1 mil at the minute. Bear in mind, he will drop. I personally, instead of a shadow, I would maybe go with a catalyst on this card, if anything, um, really to just boost out everything else. Um, I don't think a shadow is a bit of an overkill, but I do believe you do need the pace um, just to help him, basically. With all these prime moments coming out, we're going to be going against teams that are going to be very, very meta in foot champs. And I think Berezi definitely needs that pace if you're going to compete. If you've got him in your team, got him untradeable, got him whatever... Pace is what you need from him. With this, obviously, Shadow, you'll get a plus... I think it's 12 with Shadow. You'd get up to, what, 86. If you was to have a Catalyst, it only does a plus 10. So you'd get up to an 84. That, for me, is a not a bad card. His defensive stats are just unreal. Probably one of the best defensive base stats you'll find. Bar from, obviously, Team of the Year, Varane, uh, Team of the Year, uh, Van Dijk. People like that at that very high level. You'll find very pacey and defensive this guy's mainly got that defensive element. So let's jump into the first game and see how he plays. Jumping into the first match, we are coming up against... Oi, okay, so we've got Team of the Year, Conte. 85 chem, he potentially could... No, he wouldn't leave this match, surely. He's got a very nice team. The chem-wise is not great, but it's a good team regardless. Van Dijk, Prime Moment, Gattuso, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Rodrigo. It's not a terrible draft, but I think the chemistry-wise will hinder him a lot. But we'll see if he does leave straight away. I don't think he will. Um, but there's always that chance. You never know. Some people are just looking for them prime moments. Personally, myself, would be always looking for a prime moment. And I feel like he is going to go. And he has gone. Fair enough. So we jump into the first match again. He didn't give us the win. So jumping into the second first match of the day. We are now coming up against... We see a Tonali, potentially. No, we see uh, Valver Valverdez or something like that. Uh, Rodrigo, Pogba, Burkamp. Again, not a bad team. It's not got any prime moments, which is always nice. I hate when we come up against a uh, R9 prime moments. Or Ronaldinho, there always is chance. And hopefully this guy ain't going to leave either. Brazy with a tackle straight away. Dispossesses Burkamp instantly. Into Petit. There's the first goal. Lovely work. Berezi. Tackle again, always. You get you get him on the, the standing tackle, he's always going to get it. You get him running, probably is going to be outrun quite a lot, but when it comes to the standing tackle, he is fantastic. Roy Costa into Messi. We see Mbappe doesn't get outbeat by Varane. Berez is going to hold him off. He's gone past him. Oi, De Gea making that show. And exactly what I said. If you outrun, if you go for the run on him, he's going to probably beat you. Perez is let Pogba in. Van Dijk cleaning up the mess. <clears throat> Perez gets the tackle. That's a perfect challenge. Last man challenge right there. So the first half, Brezzi doing what Brezzi does best. He did let through a player uh, once, but luckily we've managed to kind of quell his shots. Berezi, oh, he's missing out on that challenge. And again, not quite getting that challenge right. But he is going away now. Berezi with a second chance on. Burkamp doesn't manage to get the tackle in. Probably more my defending, if anything, there. He is going to get that one out, though. Boom! And he's left. 3-0. We've managed to get the victory. Let's go, boys. Jumping into the second match, we are now coming up against... Oi, that's a big boy team. 90 rated, prime moment, Gerard Campbell and R9. Mbappe Hazard, Petit, Van Dijk, Lloris, Hazard, I did already say him, De Bruyne, Walker and Bernat. That's a good draft right there. Berezi with a tackle on R9. Berezi, lovely. Berezi with another challenge. Is not letting R9 get one step closer to that goal. 
Berezi, get it away. That, and that's it. Beautiful work from him. Very, very nice defending. And a header away as well. Does absolutely everything. Petit versus Petit. And of course, he's going to get that with Virgil. Virgil volley. Nice little rebound. Let's move on to our goal. Berezi intercepted. Oh my. That is why I hate R9. The shot should not have gone in from there. But obviously, 97 rated striker. You're not stopping that. Into Berezi. Passes out to Roy Costa. He's going to go for that 1-2. Oh, Mane! Berezi with a great challenge. Berezi with the challenge. And we finished that match. He was very good. His two attacks managed to get him the win. Um, defensively, he played really well. We just could not break him down. Both players I used did really well. As you can see, probably deserved the win. We couldn't really break down the shot. So unfortunately, that is the end of this draft. So going on to the overall review for Prime Moment, Berezi. I love this card. I know people won't want him. And personally, I know deep down, if I had the choice between any centre-back, I would very rarely pick Berezi as my centre-back. But in terms of actual capabilities, if I got him untradeable, he's a fantastic centre-back. We didn't. I really like Cannavaro these days. I like uh, Maldidi. Obviously, is one of the best. But Berezi, with that shadow, with that catalyst, whatever you want to put on him, is absolutely fantastic on that tackle. Yes, he doesn't have the pace and will struggle a little bit against the Mbappes, the Messes, the 99s, all of them. But when it comes to defending, I really do rate this card highly. If I could rate his defensive ability, it's 10. It's 100% 10. It is only his pace that really lets him down in this game. If it was last year, I reckon this guy would be an absolute monster in that centre-back role. But saying that, I do have to make sure that I'm giving you the information. Pace-wise is an issue to an extent when you're coming up against the players that have that pace. You've got the Mbappe, Messi, R9, Ronaldo, um, Neymar. They are will outpace him if he turns. If he turns on them, they will beat him on that pace, 100%. If you stand and you go for that challenge and you're one-on-one, you're -on -one, he will 100% win it. There was very, very little opportunity that, a, that an attacker won the ball off him. He is that good on the defence. His standing tackle, his slide tackle as a base is 97 and 98. The guy does not lose the ball. Strength and aggression wise is nice. 83, 83. I can live with that. Reactions is good. Composure is fantastic. Literally the only thing necessarily wrong with this card is that 74 pace, is that 84 pace if you put a catalyst on him. So... 84 isn't bad, but obviously if you had an 80 pace centre-back, it would go up to 90. That's when you're looking at the big books. You're looking at someone like Rio, Cannavaro, Maldini, Van Dijk. They are the, the meta centre-backs this year. Whereas Berezi does get left in the dirt a little bit for 1 million coins. Honestly, that's not a bad price. I don't think it's terrible value, to be honest. For a million coins, realistically, you're looking at, what, 2.5 for the team of the year of uh, Van Dijk. You're looking at 2 to 3 million for, for Cannavaro, um, for Rio, all of them. Um, so it's interesting. I just think I really like his defensive abilities. It is only the pace that puts him at a little bit of a downfall. So overall, for me... If I was going to really be harsh on him, I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. I think looking at what this card's like and then kind of kind of projecting what I think the other centre-backs... Maldini's going to be a 10. I think Ra Ra Rio's going to be a 10. Cannavaro will be a 10. Nesta, I could probably put in Berez's sort of case. You've got people like Sol Campbell, I think will be a 9. They're the sort of range that I'm looking at. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think. I will try and get as many centre-backs out there as well. Um, I really want to give a constant link of these pro moments. I really want to try and get as many done as possible. Just to see the difference between all of them. Because personally, I am eyeing up my first pro moments. I want one in my team. Even if I have to buy them with coins, I want one. Just to have anyone. I don't really care if they're the most meta prime moment you can get. Or just a player that I can play with. Someone I can have in the club for the rest of the game. That's just something I like. 
So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, make sure to uh, leave a like down below and subscribe if you did. We're going to be doing a prime moment every single day, so definitely come back for that. Press the bell button. It normally will be 4 o'clock every day that a prime moment will be out. If any issues come up with that, I will probably uh, let you know if you want to follow Twitter. And apart from that, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.